Let's talk about a new plugin for Photoshop called Backscatter Exterminator that was made specifically for underwater photographers. Now, first I'm gonna show you the old way in a really bad workflow uh, that's no longer necessary. What you're seeing here is an image that I've worked on and I'm gonna show you the history. So how many brush strokes are involved in trying to remove little pieces of scatter, which in this case are really fish eggs. As I scroll up in here, you can see this add spot removal. There's literally hundreds. I don't know how many times I clicked that, but it, it might've been 500 times. This is a terrible workflow. A, because it's tedious, B, because Lightroom really can't handle it. All of these adjustments being made to the same images, uh, it, it makes it slow and they prove you very quickly. So that's the old way to do it. You can still use spot removal, repair and clone to remove uh, the scatter in your images, but for heavy lifting, there's a much better way now, thanks to Aaron Quigley and the folks at Go Ask Aaron. So let's run a different kind of image through the backscatter exterminator. Um, in this case, we were shooting a turtle in the surf line. I, I almost didn't take this image because I knew it would be a mess because I could see all of the sand that was being kicked up around me. But the turtle was being so cooperative, he let me get super close. So I went and captured the image. Well, you can see looking at this that the backscatter is uh, nothing that you could clone out by hand. It would take you forever. And, and even if you were going to spend the time, it simply wouldn't work. So. What I'm gonna do first is any big global changes, specifically that would be exposure uh, or brightness. And in this case, I'm going to bring down my uh, highlights a little bit from where the strobe is flashed. So I bring down my highlights a little bit and then I like to sometimes in shallow cloudy water, I like to shift the white balance to a little more blue, makes the water look a little bit more clear. Okay, at this point we're ready to go into the backscatter exterminator. So I'll simply go photo, edit in Photoshop 2025, edit a copy. Okay, now we're in Photoshop and you can see what's happening here is from the filter window, we have an action called BSXD action click here. So I'll highlight that and I'm gonna hit play. And what this is going to do is eliminate the backscatter, but also create a layer so that we can look into um, exactly what it's done and add or subtract some if we like. Okay, so it takes a minute to process, but you can see what's going on here. Here's the before and after if I um, turn off the filter that has filtered out the backscatter, you can see the difference, it's amazing. So at this point for my personal workflow, I would simply go file, save, and then what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the changes that I've made in Photoshop and it's gonna lay it back into my grid and Lightroom right next to the original. So once that item is saved, I will go back to, and here's the before and after. So that was an interesting example of how to use Backscatter Exterminator to clean up an image that really couldn't have been saved any other way. We'll put a link to this software below in the comments section. If there's anything else that you'd like to ask us or have us review, please drop us a note below. Thanks.